Hi friends, my name is Sai Kumar Vallabhojo. Okay, I'm working as a software developer in Vision Infotech from last four and a half years. Okay, I have full knowledge on Python, data science, and Java, and data science libraries, and Linux also. I have certified in Python from Microsoft also in the last year, uh, 2022. Just watch my certificate once, Microsoft certificate. Okay. Sai Kumar Vallabhojo, Introduction to Programming Using Python. Okay, on this date, I wrote the exam and this is the port ID and this is the signature of Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO. Okay, see, I want to say something about the Python or any subject or any programming language. See, most of the articles in the internet saying that uh, how to learn the subject in 24 hours, 48 hours or one week. See, don't try to learn the subject in a short way because if you are learning the subject in a short way you will feel the sub you will feel that i know subject but if anyone ask any question you may not be in a position to say the answer if anyone ask you to write the code also you may not be in a position to write the code also because that short way subject is not going to teach you the sub complete subject and it will not give you the confidence okay my recommendation is if you are learning the subject, try to learn the subject complete, in depth, everything internal to internal. If you learn the subject, then only you will feel the subject you know. And if anyone asks any question also, you, you may you, you are in a position to say the answer. Okay, you are in a position to write the code also, whatever their requirement. See, I'm going to give you the confidence just to follow my articles from the internet from today onwards so i'm going to conduct java python linux and the data science libraries also whatever i'm working as a software development and i'm whatever the requirements i'm having i'm going to teach everything here okay see on the day one first i'm going to explain uh, what is python okay see uh, Generally, Python is a general purpose programming language, okay, general purpose high level programming language, okay. Python was developed by Guido van Rossum in 1989 while working at National Research Institute at Netherlands, okay. Python was developed by whom? Guido van Rossum in 1989 while working at National Research Institute at Netherlands, okay. But official Python was made available to public in 1991. Okay, actually this is the one develop, development 1989. But officially Python was made available to public 1991. Okay, the date of birth for the Python is Feb 20th 1991. Okay, Python is recommended as first programming language for beginners. Okay, why it is beginner first means uh, when compared to previous other languages are java c++ and python in python if you want to write the subject uh, if you want to write the code for hello world program just uh, it's going to complete in short way but if you come to python it's going to complete in single shot okay that is observe here i'm going to write one small program in python first okay i'm opening python shell I'm going to print a hello world program. Okay. Hello world. Hello world. See, I'm printing hello world program. Hello world program. Just with one line, with one line, I'm printing. Okay. See, the same thing if I'm going to write the program in the Java, observe here. class okay let me save the program first uh, what is the name of test dot java uh, javascript file not java source file okay see i'm taking class test i 
and a public static void main string array ox okay system dot out dot print ln hello world <laughs> see observe here if i want to learn if i want to print hello world program using python with a single shot it is completed but if you want to print the same hello world program in java i want to write this much code observe here first java i need to write the class okay i need to write the class name next this is called the main method okay there is a big story for the main method also public is a modifier static is a keyword void is a return type main is a method and the string array arcs main so it's going if you are passing come and learn arguments at the runtime how many arguments you will pass that many arguments it is going to receive okay this is the intention of public static void main see if you are writing any big code but this line should be mandatory for the python program okay public static void main string array ox for printing information on the console this is the line we have to write okay system dot out dot println system is a class out is a variable println is a method see out is a static variable present in system class of println method okay see if you write this information then only information hello world is going to print on the console and one more thing in python i didn't wrote any uh, import statements also but here one import statement also must be required but we are working on java 1.8 version okay see here java hyphen version see i'm using java 18 version okay as part of java 18 version we are not required to import any uh, packages also because from 1.8 version onwards system is present in java.lang package okay by default from 1.5 onwards every package is available just for normal program also every package is available so we are using 18 version so it is not required to write any packages for this uh, small program observe here i want to compile the program java test.java what is the mistake here just uh, i am writing the statement but i am i forgot to keep semicolon see hello world okay to print hello world using java this much story is required but if you want to print just for hello world in python only with a single shot it's going to print okay and if you observe one more thing semicolon is optional but your semicolon is mandatory okay your semicolon is mandatory but i didn't give semicolon here if you observe okay python is not that much strict about semicolons but where java is strict about semicolons also okay and observe here one more thing i want to print addition of two numbers okay a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and c is equal to a plus b okay c is equal to a plus b now i am printing the value of c okay with a single shot just i am not declaring the type of a type of b everything okay with this python with a single shot i am adding the two numbers but if you observe the same thing in python in java sorry i want to declare the type of variables in in the middle on, in the starting only in the a equals to 10 semicolon mandatory int b is equal to 20 it is also mandatory 
okay now i am going to print the value of two numbers addition of two numbers two numbers see <coughs> a plus b okay now observe here i am declaring the y uh, type of a int and uh, declaring the type of b also i am adding the two numbers okay now it is going to print the addition of two numbers okay now observe see addition of two numbers is 30 okay addition of two numbers is 30 if you observe where com when compared to java and python okay if you observe when compared to java and python java is strict about this all much this all story okay ne need to declare the type of a and the type of b and whatever you are adding everything it is required without you are declaring the type of a it is not going to consider what is this a okay but in python it is our optional okay these are optional it is not going to consider about the type of a so whatever the variable you are declaring outside that is going to consider dynamically at the runtime okay you are declaring 10 means it's going to consider it is type of a is int if you want to observe type of a see type of a is int okay in this way when compared to java when compared to java python is very simple and easy programming language okay observe here difference between difference between python and java difference between python and java if you want to print only using java this much story is enough okay but if you want to print java by using hello world program this much story is required okay hello world okay so print normal normal hello world normal hello world addition of two numbers addition of two numbers okay observe here just uh, this much story is enough for python when compared to java so this much story is required if you developing to addition of two numbers using java this much story is required okay so from tomorrow onwards i am going to uh, explain total scenario okay thank you friends if you are watching for the first time please subscribe to my channel for more videos on python and every technology okay thanks everyone